what's going on everybody it is your girl coco deluxe aka your bestie of all things under the spectrum of fabulosity and today that fabulous thing is long lasting lip gloss okay now this is my take on long lasting lip gloss which includes like three or four products okay this is not anything that i'm claiming to have discovered or created there are many brands that have their you know products that are long lasting lip glosses okay this is just my take on it now my experience with purchasing long lasting lip glosses has not been that good because they are very like sticky just not comfortable to wear on the lips at all they're like blotchy you know um just not fun not fun so my idea of a long lasting lip gloss like I said, consists of actually five products. I don't know if I said four in the beginning, but consists of five very affordable products. I will um, make sure I name the brand of each product if I can. And I'll also see if I can link, um, put a link to purchase uh, below in the comments, in the, in the caption somewhere. Um, so you first want to start off with a, you know, nice plumped, primed lip and for me the way that I prime my lips is I like to do a lip scrub okay so once that has been completed darling you want to go in with a lip liner of your choosing my fave my fave lip liners or any lip liner that is dark brown it doesn't matter the brand in the shade dark brown and this one I don't know the brand because it's been rubbed off um but this is in a deeper brown color oh goodness gracious you know what guys i don't know the brand because it's been rubbed from dollar general i believe very affordable more affordable than the drugstore in my opinion so i'm gonna go in with the ruby kisses and just line the lips we all know how to start out with a good line whatever your technique is go with that like fiona's Fiona Apple once said, go with yourself. So just line. I love this lip liner because it's so smooth and uh, creamy. It just glides on. And one other thing about this too, this is actually, yeah, okay, this is actually a lip liner because sometimes I be using eyeliner <laughs> to line my lips. To me, it's all the same. I'm an I'm a old school 90s makeup girly, so an eyeliner or eyebrow pencil can often do double as a a lip liner so let me stop talking and line these lips honey and we're lining the bottom okay we've got our base liner on and i'm gonna go in with a darker dark brown lip liner and i'm just gonna use this to like add dimension the reason why i don't just use this one period like this be the only one i use is because it, it's can be this is so dark it can be a little too harsh so i just use this to add dimension above the base lip liner that i have laid down so i just gently go over see and it just adds dimension Okay, we're back and the lips are lined. So we have a dimensional lip. So now I'm gonna go in with the lip, the actual lip products. So first I'm gonna start out with a lip gloss. You can use any lip gloss, it doesn't matter. Um, this brand that I'm using is LA Colors Lip Gloss. It's a very moisturizing lip gloss and it's in the shade Coral Crush. I don't know if my camera is not focusing, but trust me, it is Coral Crush. It's a very hydrating lip gloss. So you want to lay your lip gloss down first, okay? So we're going to go in with our lip gloss. Like butter. Oh my God. And just wet those lips up. And you can use any color, any brand that you want. I'm going to go in with another 
layer because we want these lips to be nice and juicy. Okay. So the lips are lined, glossed. Step. So the next step is we're going to lock in this moisture lip gloss product here. We're going to lock that in. And how are we going to do that? By laying a matte, a matte lip product above the lip gloss. That's going to lock in the, the shine. So you want to use a product that kind of matches the color of the lip gloss, you know, that's in the same color family. So for that, I'm using Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit, and this is by Wet n Wild. And it's their liquid cat suit, and it's in the shade Coral Corruption. I'm a coral girl. I feel like coral goes really good with my melanation. So this is a matte product that I'm going to put over the lip gloss. Lock in and you kind of want to work fast. If you have one of those matte products that dries down, and then you just want to go in wherever you need to. We're going to let this sit on the lips for 30 seconds. And then we're going to go, you can go back over it with a second application of the matte lip, lipstick. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. For the purposes of this video, I am. So I'm going to go back in after I have let it set with just a light Let that sit again, kind of let it dry down a little bit. Then we're going to go back over it with some lip, our lip gloss. And you don't have to do this last step, but I just like to go use a sparkling shimmery lip gloss and just put her in the center of the lip. And just take a look at the lips and then wherever I need to re-add, re-enhance the lip liner. Now, I'm not claiming that this is kiss proof. I'm not claiming that this is smudge proof, transfer proof. I'm not claiming any of that. But what I am claiming is this is a way to make your lips, your lip gloss last longer. I like to do it this way because I find that actual long lasting lip glosses just don't, they don't pan out for me. So I like to do, do this. It's a little, you know, it's just a lot, a lot of steps, you know, but I like the fact that I can get at least two to three hours of, of this, as long as I'm not kissing my husband or eating anything or, you know, um, I can get a good long wear time from when I put my lip gloss on this way. Pairing your lip gloss with a matte lip product, definitely you'll get long wear. May not be forever, may not be 10 hour wear but you'll get long wear out of it, okay? So tell me what you think if you try this technique and I will see you in the next video. Bye. This bra just does not wanna just mind her business. All right, you guys. See you on the next video. Bye. I forgot to mention is you wanna make sure everything is ev you know evenly dispersed throughout the lip. And that the corners don't have product build up in the corners, but tell me what you think you guys see you on the next video. I promise I'm out this time.
拜拜。